to solve an absolute value equation, manipulate, oh, this is good. So remember how I said we're going to add some extra steps in there. Always solve for the absolute value first, and then split it up into the two equations. Okay, It's like getting or manipulating the equation for the absolute value. So we want the absolute value on its own side of the equal sign. So here's one. We've got the absolute value of 11x plus 4 equals 28. Again, if we split this up into two separate equations, then we'll have our two answers. All right, so there we have that. <clears throat> uh, notice, again, the, the absolute value just stays the same. We're just making it equal to a positive and to the negative. All right, and then we're just solving both equations. So on this one, I would subtract 4 from both sides of the equal sign. And I've got 11x equals 24. And divide both sides by 11. And x equals 24 elevenths. You can write the mixed number or the decimal for that. That's not a problem. Let's solve the other one. So I'll subtract 4 from both sides again. So I got 11x equals negative 32. Dividing both sides by 11. And x equals negative 32 elevenths. Now like... Well, we talked about with systems of equations and equations. Do not stop at this point, all right? It's just going to take you an extra minute to solve both of these by replacing the x value with both numbers just to make sure it's a true statement, all right? And that kind of brings us to this point. So this 11x minus 4, uh, again, it's, it's equaling 28 because eventually the inside will be that 28, and you'll see that if you check, all right? Same with the negative 28. If we put negative 32 elevenths in for x, we would end up with the absolute value of negative 28 equals 28, which is true. You see how that's, this purple number and this red number represent what would be on the inside of that absolute value.